Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target YouTube channel and this will be continuation of OS 2.0 example for Google API. So in the last videos, I have already explained what is OS 2.0 and how can we generate the client ID, client secret, then access token and refresh token. So from this video onwards, I am going to show how can we use the Google APIs with the OAuth 2.0 authorization. If you go to Google Drive, which is a cloud storage provided by Google, and if I sign in here, then you can upload any file or folder here and you can access it anywhere because this is a cloud storage. Simply you need to click on new and you can see the option like file upload, folder upload. So this we can do manually. But we have some APIs provided by Google itself, which you can use to upload the files. You can use Postman, you can use Desassured, or you can use the Java client library for the Google API as well. So in this video, we are going to learn how can we upload a file in Google Drive using the Google Drive API with the help of Postman. So if you simply search for Google Drive API, then it will give you the list of APIs provided by Google. Simply go to the first link and here, if you go to reference, you can see all the APIs which you can use for the Google Drive. Suppose if you go to file, then we have something called create. By using this API, we can upload a file in Google Drive. But before using any Google APIs, we need to generate the access token. And the complete flow to generate the access token, I have already covered in my previous video. So in this video, I am not going to explain you step by step, but I will quickly perform all the steps together. So first of all, I need to register with Google console so that I can get my client ID and client secret. So let me do that step first. For that, what you need to do, you need to go to Google Cloud Console. And since I have already logged in in Google Drive, that's why it took the same session and it logged in with the same user. So first thing, we need to generate my client ID and client secret. So let me go quickly, click here, click on new project and I will name it as Google Drive Demo. Click on create. You can select the project from the notification or you can click the drop down here and you can select the latest project. Now go to dashboard. So we have some steps which you need to perform. For that you need to go to API and services. First thing we need to enable which API I want to use. So I want to use Google Drive. So let me go here and let me simply add the Google Drive API. Click on enable and this will be enabled in your project. As soon as you add the or enable the API, you see the message like to use this API, you may need credentials. So you can go to this tab and click on create credentials. If you try to click on OAuth client ID, it will ask you first go and configure the consent screen. This These concepts I have already explained in my previous video. So go to this tab and create the consent screen. So I'm going to use the external app, click on create and I will give the name. You can give any name like uh, retarget common app. Use the same email ID which I use for login here. Let me copy paste because I want to pass the same email ID down as well. Right hand side you can see how this information will be displayed. Display name, this will be your app name. Means RC app wants access to your Google account and this kind of details. Now click on save and continue. Then the another critical step we have, we need to add and remove scopes. If you go to the Google type API documentation, if you want to upload a file, right? You can see this API is used to upload a file. If you come down, you can see here, it is saying that you need authorization and that authorizer must have following scopes like auth slash drive, auth slash drive dot file, auth slash drive dot app data. Means you should have the scope then only you can use this API or call this API to upload a file. For this what you need to do, go here in this page, click on add or remove scope and search for drive. But as of now I will select all my Google Drive scope because I am going to use multiple APIs. So one API might require some different scope, another API might require some different scope as well. So that's why I'm going to select everything and simply click on update. Now come down and click on save and continue. So since this is like we are, we are not going to publish my app, so I need to use the test user. So I will use the same email ID which I used to log in here or click on add. Now click on save and continue. Okay. Now back to dashboard. So we have enabled the API. We have created the consent screen and we have already added the scope. Now into go to credentials, you need to click on create credentials, click on OAuth client ID, pass the application type as web application, related with the name as web client one, you can change it also. 
no need to pass his authorized java script origin but need to pass the authorized redirect uri i have already explained the concept of redirect uri means after the consent once the resource owner provides the consent like okay you you can go ahead and access my protected resource then resource owner will be redirected to some url so you can give the if you have any website or anything you can give that url or if you don't have anything simply use the local host but in real time they will have something right suppose if you want to log in with this spotify after providing the consent on the google account page you will be moved back or redirected to spotify now click on create as soon as we do it we'll see that i got my client id in client secret let me download the json you can always download your client id in client secret from here as well so let me open this json file and let me copy paste in my json online editor so we are done with the first step where we generated our client id and client secret now i need to use this details to generate my authorization code so i have already covered like how can we generate the authorization code so this is the url let me fill up the details here you can generate the authorization code as many as times you want but if you generate the authorized access token using that authorization code then you cannot generate the new access token you need to use the refresh token only so here for this create api we need three scopes minimum so as of now i just want to upload a file so here for the scope field i will pass all those three code to you can pass multiple scope using the white space and access type will be offline include a grant type true response type will be code state will be as it is the that uri same thing localhost 8080 and client id i just need to change which i generated recently i have already explained from where i got this example from the documentation of google api and just i need to fill the details here and you need to simply copy the url and go and paste in browser it will ask like choose an account to continue to rc app this this is the app name i have given so we added one test user as well so you can use only that test user you cannot use any other test user because my app is not published yet so you can see google has not verified this app let me continue then you can see what are the access it is looking for everything means whatever scopes you provided here everything is coming here so see edit create and delete all of your google drive files right so whatever you want to do you can just permit here and click on continue since i have not given any valid redirect uri so it is giving like this site cannot be reached but if you copy paste the url again you simply copy this url and paste in postman then you can see we we got one code right param here code this is actually authorization code which i am looking for now you need to copy this code and this code you can use to generate your access token so we have this api for that go to body and you just need to pass the latest code okay and you need to update the client id in client secret as well so let me copy the client id from here and client secret hit the send button and you should able to get the access token and refresh token this access token will be expired in 4000 seconds minus 1 and after that i need to use this refresh token to generate a new access token okay so this thing this concept i have already explained in my previous video so i just did the fast forward here now i want to upload a file so if you go to this documentation which i will always suggest to go and read line by line word by word if you go here it says that we have something called create api and supports an upload slash upload uri you can upload 5120 gb and you can upload any file type right star by star so here if you come down you can see here upload uri this is the end point which you need to use to use to upload the file and if you want to just update the metadata then you need to use this api metadata means name of the file uh, description other things i will show you that thing okay that is called data about data is called metadata simple thing okay then we have list of parameters so we have something called upload type which takes the value as a string there might be three possible things like uh, simple upload multi part upload and resumable upload okay so i will show you all three but before that if simply click on the simple upload and if you come here you can see that again it is showing you that what are the file data you can upload like uh, if you want to upload the file less than 5 mb then you can use a simple upload but you cannot up upload the metadata for with that but if you want to upload the file less than 5 mb along with the metadata then you can use the multi part upload but if i using your if you are uploading a larger file means greater than 5 mb then you should use the re resumable upload because if it fails then you can resume it again 
you can see that like it is explaining everything like if you want to perform a simple upload if you want to perform multi part upload and if you want to perform a resumeable upload so in this video i will just show you that how can you perform a simple upload and the next two videos i will explain how to upload multi part and the resumeable upload you can see that this will be a post call and you need to use this endpoint and we have seen from here that it will require a query param called upload type and it will have three possible values since i want to upload a file without metadata whose size is less than 5 mb so you need to pass the upload type as media and then need to pass which file you want to add okay this is tricky add the file's data to the request body here it is not saying that how can we pass the file that i will show you then need to add these headers like content type set to the mmi media type of the object being uploaded if you simply go and search for mime types so you can see everything like if you want to upload any csv file right then the mime will be text less csv like application slash json similar kind of things mime you need to pass they to pass the content length set to the number of the bytes you upload okay and the fourth step like send the request if the request succeeded the server returns the strip it 200 okay status code along with the files metadata means in simple upload we cannot pass some metadata bus once he once the file is uploaded it will give default metadata to that that i will show you now okay that's why you need to read the documentation if you read the documentation well you can understand each and every word so let's go and create the request so this is the endpoint we got it already let me click and this is a post call right now second step add the files data to the request body if you are using postman then you can upload the file in two ways actually if you go to body then you see one option called form data if you see the form data here if you mouse over you can see you can pass the text also you can pass the file also and similarly if you go to binary here also you can select the file so let me show you both what happens if you use the form data and binary so form data is generally if you are suppose you are on a web page and you are filling up some details right and you submit so for those kind of request form data is useful but when you use the binary so you can send the file as it is i will show you the difference also what will happen now suppose let me use the form data first and what i'm going to do i'm going to use the in this of text i will select the file and i will simply select a file random file and let me select the spotify logo no need to pass any key this that is option you can pass and you can not pass also but before that you need to add the authorization key which already we generated here this will be your bearer token so let me copy the access token from here and let me paste it here then you need to pass the content type so let me pass the content type and for the i have uploaded a png file so if you go to mime table and search for the png you can see the mime type is image/png so let me copy paste here now go here and let me let me show you first that we don't have any file here let me go and hit this api we can see that this api is give me 200 and we got some metadata like kind id name and mime type if you go to your google drive and simply refresh you should see that one file got uploaded here but if you try to see like preview it will not show any preview or if you download this file as well then also it will not give you the proper formatting okay or this is not showing the actual file what kind of file it is so for that what you should do in instead of using the form data we should use the binary in this binary file simply up select the file open it and now send it you can see again file is uploaded status is 200 if you come here you can see that now file has been uploaded properly now you can see the preview as well so using the form data file was getting corrupted so you can use the binary here and then it will upload the file properly in google drive so we have successfully uploaded a file using the google drive api in google drive so in the next video i will show you that how can we upload a multi part which is an important topic so if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone